Nyante chua, and maybe I'm discovering for you. Pakumi me busi yafu wa Ghana no. Me use tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. E ye easy, e ye convenient, e ye fast. E sanso ye free. Wu tu ya she. Me discover ye map him. Tap tap send. Inti ene. Once you download the tap tap send app no, e wa mobile phone so free. Lefe si kaka mu busi yafu wa Ghana afane ni na tap tap send. Papa no no. has been rejected and approved by the FDA. Emre tutu wana ni etina kemu kwa nti Tengi akotoni yoma bigu ya shop Nasa ube nya ni nina wafako Eno so ya asa ya ufufro Uwo so utu mfako si kaswa ni ni mpate mu Anase achi watalapa se kosi insawe mu Jimmy Dale is your one stop shop distribution For wholesale and retailer Sefa drinks, insu, inyani Anase achi bia upe bia Sa uko tomu kwa dia enye bebia Wose utu mwa enye Jimmy Dale You can look at Jimmy Dale Ventures At Jigga Junction Inside Soul Tour. All callers now on 0208-920-996. Jimmy Dale Ventures, the official sponsor for Sammy Flex TV. Jimmy Dale Ventures. Jimmy Dale Ventures. Yes, September to remember. September to remember. I make a group of companies. And I think Sammy Flex TV presents September to remember Dubai Tour. With Sammy Flex. Sammy Flex. Yeah, mua kwenye mua kwa Dubai. Who was up tour most of the interesting places be a Dubai. It's a desert safari. Dubai free. Atlantis water park. Dubai city tour. Yach party back or snap for your sons a party in the club. And to tell a friend to tell a friend it's September to remember Dubai tour with Sammy Flex and Basu. And you're from the 28th of September to 4th October 2022. For reservation friends, 0243-514-732. And now friend, plus 971-55-949-4061. September to remember Dubai tour with Sammy Flex bad dead. Come, let's go Come, let's go do Proudly sponsored by Sankofa Restaurant. Taste Africa. 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 After the weekend's pressure, we are back once again on the seat to do it like we have always been doing it here on Samiflex TV. This is Showbiz Daily. Showbiz Daily discusses all the important issues in our showbiz industry here in Ghana, maybe out of it. And when we sit like this, we spend some few hours, maximum two, to do all these topics. And I pray that every weekday evening from 8.30 p.m. from Ghana, you can also join us and let's do this. Even if you are not able to watch it live or watch the stream version you can also in your comfort watch it after you've come from work or something like that my name is sammy flex introducing the team to you on the screen nana reagan is beef god beef nation beef king beef nyami <laughs> but everything that you can think of he's also a writer a promoter publicist and a talent manager here he joins us one, as one of our pundits on showbiz daily in the middle is man like chemo man like chemo chemo is also an it consultant digital content strategist and here at Samiflex TV he is our online manager and I also have Kojo King the man at the extreme and that is the lion killer 
Coach Okin is telling me the lion that killed the guy was so weak that he doesn't even understand how the guy, <laughs> <laughs> how the guy allowed himself to be killed by the lion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Fidelis. Fidelis is the lion killer. <laughs> <laughs> Fidelis is the lion killer, Coach Okin. And also to the guys behind the scenes, the Jackie Boatin and the big boys. They are also here. And hey, I want to believe that Abi will be on his way to Ghana uh, while we are watching this. He, he said I should keep it a secret, but I couldn't. Um, he will surely be on his way to Ghana whilst we are doing this. And uh, Digital Rasta is on camera. Uh, Richie Flex is the editor director of the show. Emmanuel Foy with PG is also the producer. And Gideon Neil Amtesin is our creative director. This is the team behind this beautiful content that the world can't get enough of here on Sammy Flex TV, Showbiz Daily. If you are here, I don't know if it is your first time or you have been enjoying this show from time to time, remember to also put down your comment, be part of the discussion, and let's do it together. It is a free world. You can always tell us what you think about the topics, not to insult or to attack anybody. In fact, we try to dissociate from such insults, but we always encourage you to put down your comments, still, as we do it. Something has happened in Ghana, and I surely want us to start with that topic today. Something really huge just happened in Ghana, and I would want us to start with that topic today. According to the zookeepers here in Ghana at a city called Accra, which is our capital, one man has been killed by one of the lions at the zoo. And the story is such that the man uh, entered the premises of the zoo, went into the cage of the lions unknowingly or knowingly as to what he was looking for. Still, the stories cannot even be understood well. As it stands now, the man is dead dead. He says, well, we <laughs> <laughs> he's dead dead, like he's gone. According to report, he was killed by the lion. There are videos, press releases, and counter statements coming from those who are in charge of the Forestry Commission as well as the Achimota Forest and the zookeepers. As we talk, information we have gathered, fresh information is that um, the Forestry Commission has closed down. Uh, should I say closed down? Closed down. Okay, they fought for operation. Uh, maybe that one will sound well. Mm -hmm. They fought for operation for investigations to commence into the killing of the middle-aged man that is what the story says middle-aged man so first we all saw a press statement from um the firm that is the Accra zoo and i would want to read a press statement then there are some video evidences from some media houses tv3 one of them utv one of them we will also discuss what it means by uh, the lion killing a middle-aged man uh, richie flex if the press release is available let me read what um, the Forestry Commission is saying in this press statement, and that is the corporate headquarters, uh, Ghana Forestry Commission, GFC or Badastro FC alone. And it says, around 12 hours today, that is 20, is it 28 or 26? Uh, Richie, can I like to come closer so I see it well? I'm reading from your, your 20, no, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28 yeah. yes. So around 12 hours today, 28 August 2022, officials of the Accra Zoo on a routine patrol noticed a middle-aged man, an intruder, had jumped the security fences and entered the lion's enclosure of the zoo. The motive of the intruder is yet to be determined. The intruder was attacked and injured by one of the lions within the inner fencing of the enclosure. The intruder has been confirmed dead from injuries sustained and the body has been conveyed to the morgue. Across the authority successfully coerced the lions into a secure hold and invited the Achimota police to convey the body and commence investigations. Across the authority successfully coerced the lions. Did they come out? Okay. Coerced the lions into a secure hold and invited the Achimota police to convey the body and commence investigations. We wish to confirm that the lion, the lioness, and the two cops remain secured in their enclosure at the Accra Zoo. Forestry Commission wishes to assure the general public that no lion has escaped from the Accra Zoo. Mm. 
the Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources and the Chief Executive of the Forestry Commission, Honorable Benito Owusubiu and John Alote, respectively, have visited the zoo this afternoon and ensured that all families remain, all, sorry, all facilities remain secure. Mm. Issued by the Chief Executive Forestry Commission. Okay, uh, Richie, is there something else that we have to know? Okay, so that was the date and when the letter was signed by the Chief Executive, the Forestry Commission of Accra. Now let's, okay, Richie would want me to also read this, let me clear it. And that this one is telling us that the Forestry Commission shut down Accra Zoo. And that is also one story that we have to go into. And it says, the Forestry Commission has closed down Accra Zoo for investigations to unravel the circumstances under which a middle-aged man was supposedly killed by a lion. Now, the authorities were to ascertain how the man got in there into the lion's den, a situation many described as baffling. Explaining to Accra Bay City News, Head of Corporate Affairs and Media Relations at the Forestry Commission, Joyce Ofori Kwafu, said a staff of the Accra Zoo was going around yesterday and noticed a lifeless body in the lion's cage. He quickly drew closer to assess the situation. They quickly called in the Achimota police after which the body was conveyed to the mortuary. After a close look, we realized that the deceased intruded. He did not use the right means to enter the zoo. The zoo is situated in the Achimota forest. Whenever we get tourists, we assign our guys to them. The cages of the lions are a bit far away from where the rest of the animals are. The idea is to give the lions something close to their natural habitat. The place has been properly secured. It has an outer and inner lock. The inner wall is 20 feet high. It is evident that the man tampered with the cage. We all suspect that he went through the cage. He went through the, he went through there. Now the Forestry Commission has however cleared the authorities of the zoo. Um Richie, what called it? <laughs> okay, the Forestry Commission has however cleared the authorities of the zoo of any blame. Mm. The Forestry Commission has however cleared the authorities of the zoo of any blame, saying that <coughs> there was no security lapse. This incident beats our understanding. It has never happened before, and we are all baffled. This is what the zoo managers or zookeepers are saying. Now, let's watch a report, um, a video report from um, the TV stations that I mentioned, TV3 as well as UTV. And let's see whose door we can lay a blame here, according to the, the, the story, that to them, they think that they did not do anything wrong. That's why they've been cleared. From any lapses, it's almost there will be any problem. Be a amun ya shi, amun ya boni be a papa no ope. I create your mansa. I don't need to. Eh, I nanya. You want to need to go there? Bo si ako. Bo si ako. I don't need to. Akoje atrema. I was saying atrema. So let's watch this. When I come back, we will still do the discussion, the possible causes, and uh, what we think about the happenings. When your worker say waha, I hear wildlife for any Accra Zoo. When your worker say waha. Uh, yeah, here wildlife for uh, any Accra Zoo uh, workers, you know. I'm um, a CEO, a uh, chief executive of uh, Forestry Commission. I'm so tired. So, BB, as you are, I'm so tired. I'm not free. Me, now, me so so, me do me ka. Bye, bye. No, I'm a, I'm calm. What's him? I'm a see. I'm a echo. I'm normal rounds around twelve o'clock. I'm be pee ha. I hear crash. I hear Ujina ha. No, no, a year assistant zoo attendant. And uh, who said, Obi, a war, a year inner perimeter, ah, a year Jatano, Bermano, a curani panel. Now, Jatano, who no, no, dear, not to war. If he said, Who no, he said, or the Nabian, ever. And uh, Omodino, a man, a quashe, the protected area, and the war no more for police, my police is so by police by big space na uh, you are protecting Omo Nam Keke. 
omo ba ya so so omo mpie kura ada omo ami ate kura se so omo kura biye yi no kura omo ma abonten omo mpie da e fi se aba biye hia omo ene da biye secure place no because ho no me omo di nua ne ne ko ti omo biye a ho no me ko enti obi an kana kuma nto ne yam omo ano omo ye protected ne mpo kura no ye ba ya kura e ba to eye nipa no so oda ha no ye hu se apart from se wo so ni mu no a o bo ni mini mu no wan ka no mpo wan we no ne nipa o he ne so ne so ba ye no o ja ye no e ko se ne ba bi e che se mu ano kura no o mu adwe nipa na mu a o mu wa ma de se o ba o mu kwa na wo ko pe hu ase mu mu a wo fi se o be che ne ba enti e be se se Bia, Mubia, maybe Bisa. Around uh, midday uh, today, um, one of our assistant managers on his uh, normal tour of the zoo um, around the enclosure where we have informed his superiors and the case was reported to the Achimota police. Yeah. A team from the Achimota police was dispatched uh, yeah. to the zoo and um, they have been here for okay. a while have taken uh, pictures and then all the information required and then the body um has been uh, it's been conveyed to the morgue it was realized that the um, person is uh, dead uh, but i wish to confirm that all the lions the male lion the female and the two cubs are here in good condition at the uh, at, at the Accra zoo and since i came i've not seen any animal outside rather they are all in the uh in a fence in a perimeter you can see behind me that's the male one and the lioness and her calves the two calves are also there but then if you look up here you see that uh, that place has been tampered with that's where the person skilled and went in the advice is that these lions are in their cages they are in their fence they are just uh, resting why would somebody come and try to enter, skill the fence and go inside to do what? If you are going for the calves, the lioness and the male will protect their calves. So please, there's a warning to people who have other intentions and ulterior motives. Please, this is a no-go area. They should keep off these premises. Well, it's a sad story, but it leaves much to be discussed, and that is what we are going to do here. Kojokin over the months has been saying that should he encounter a lion, he's going to kill the lion dead. And I wonder what he was doing, where he was. Now we need to be a lion. I'm a lion. I'm a lion. I'm a lion. So what happened? What happened? Thank you to the viewers. You, you see, this is why I've been saying uh -huh. um, you have to have a strong mindset. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen under the sun. So I've been telling you that if I meet a lion one on one, I wouldn't allow it to kill me. Mm -hmm. And you doubt me. And this is a clear example. <laughs> Even this lion is so malnourished, <laughs> like a Koshoko Ghana, Ghana lion. <laughs> South Africa lion, <laughs> Zimbabwe, they are strong, but Ghana lion, so man, malnourished. But mm. yes, I think maybe the person was afraid. You see, when you see them and you are afraid, then they, will, they, they, they can attack you. But it is an unfortunate um, circumstance mm. to happen this way. Looking at the narratives from um, the people we've listened to now, uh, it, it, it brings a lot of questions yeah. as in how what what was the man looking for to jump off this fence to enter the lion's cage for what what whatever reason and so people also have doubt that maybe the lion was um ha has left the, the cage and was mm -hmm. roaming about and and chance upon the man and so a lot of accounts coming from um people but you know the man is dead and 
he is the only person that can <laughs> give us the true picture what really happened. Mm. Mm. And I mm. think, and, and, and most of the people at the workplace, at the zoo, it is between them and the man. But now, unfortunately, the man is no more. So, whatever they will say is what we will accept. Mm. Even showing us a, a place that they suppose the man tried to, yeah. <laughs> to pass and invade the, the land. And the reason is, wh wh why will a man, a sane man, do this? Knowing how dangerous lions are, just to invade their, their, their cage, for what reason? But, 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 Kodjo, um, I'm also looking at this angle. Why can't we blame the zookeepers for being negligent? Because knowing how these lions are, they should make it so difficult for anybody, even to mistakenly try to kill uh, that uh, particular um, fence that they are talking about. Exactly. They should make it difficult, like difficult. Mm. You are right. Because um, I've seen some zoo videos of some lions, but they are. You can't. Yes. yes. I've there is one zoo video I've been seeing on social media. You go somewhere and you'll be doing something like this with a life. Uh -huh. You'll be in some glass, yeah, some new yeah. glass like, wall. Then the line will be there. Whilst you do the line, the develop, like, developed countries. <laughs> no. Develop in the no, developed no, no, countries. No, this not developed countries. We, where, might, where we, might, not have, no, that, we might not have the glass. Yeah, yeah. But like I'm saying, we should make it difficult that no matter what, you alone. Like just one person. Yes, on, on the that face. On the score of negligence, I will agree with you because knowing that even if they told us that they have given them a place far off yes. the main zoo because yes. of how their nature, they drunk yeah. they are. And so their zone should be highly protected. Ah. In the sense that maybe there should, be, there should be a no go line that nobody can go there. Unless maybe there is a guard. So it could be the case of maybe at that point there was no guard around. No, that's the Obviously. story. Yeah. That's Obviously. the story. Obviously. And that is the negligence yeah. we are talking about. Exactly, it. because if if they know that this place is dangerous, and so at this point nobody should cross. So there should be security people around them. The moment they cite you, then they they, they, they let you they go away you. because you don't have any permission to come there. But by then, and what time? The time two factors. Okay. Maybe it's at twelve. Twelve midnight. Oh, this I'm not sure it's midnight. Twelve what? They said twelve. No, it should afternoon. Be, it should be, no, it can't be after. If it is afternoon, then they because should be if you workers read the statement. around. No, but they said is twelve. That twelve hours. Twelve hours. GMT. Yeah. No, I want not for GMT. No, 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 because if if no, it is there is 12, only one twelve. Twelve, 12 hours. hours there, then. There is only one twelve. No, Richie, if our statement is not so nice, it's twelve hours. No, there is only one twelve. It is in hours, twelve hours. It means afternoon twelve. No, there is only one twelve. Mm. If you are doing the hours, hours. yeah. If you are because doing if the you hours. continue from thirteen to twenty-four, the, the other twelve will be twenty-four hours. Yes, so twelve mm. hours today. Yes, so around twelve hours, hours today. Yeah. yeah. So mm. it, it is not. Is, is it twelve o'clock? Like, does it mean? No, it, it, it means twelve o'clock. Yes. Yeah. No. If no, it 12 means twelve o'clock. Around twelve hours today. Why are they using this? this, 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 this. this. No, it means so twelve o'clock. <laughs> it means twelve o'clock. It means twelve o'clock. So, so that they will uh, dodge <laughs> that kind of. Uh, <laughs> it means the, twelve o'clock. To Sorry. use this one, they were not so specific. <laughs> Charlie, this is suspicious. No, me, mommy, yeah, I tell yeah, you that 12 o'clock and nothing lawyer, else. Lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. <laughs> no, yeah, of course. Yeah. Someone, yes. I did say someone got it. 12, 12 hours. hours to, uh, uh, can if, you if it was day, daytime, mm. Mm. then they need to take full blame. Because daytime, mm. the guys should be, be around. around. Yeah. Staff should be around mm. working, mm. monitoring visitors. Yeah. And let you know that you can't go beyond this place. Mm. If it were to be 12 p.m., then I will pardon them that maybe somebody is off. Yeah, they are working time. Oh, because that time nobody will visit the zoo. And it's just so bad. They, have, they still have to protect the place. Yes, they will protect it, but it wouldn't be as the day. For instance, maybe if. No. Are they scared? Are they not also scared that someone can come and also steal their. No, animals? no, I'm coming. The point is let's say we have this line that you have to cross this line before you can get 
access to the the, mm. the animal mm. and by then you have to come with a guard mm. so if it is daytime maybe we are doing about 10 gas in the night definitely you will reduce mm -hmm. because we know that at that night nobody is visiting the zoo so it, okay. it's left with the staff who who are patrolling to take care of whether they are in good condition or, or, or not. Mm -hmm. So that one can uh, be uh, uh, understood a bit when it was happening in the midnight. But if it is daytime, ah, where at all would the man pass that nobody will see him for this to happen to the extent of trying to jump into the cage? I, I, I wanted them to come clear. I don't know if I, I think they are just playing smart with the 12 yeah. hours. No, no, I mean, I but if it so. were uh, midnight, midnight, they would, like in fact, like they would put emphasis like on it. Yes, that, that they would state that it was midnight. Only midnight. And then, then they, it this, is not midnight. In this case, it they, is not can't, midnight. they can't. It is not midnight. I, 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 but, midnight. But what time did the news supposed to gather the, the news from, from the zoo? No, they, they call them. This, the time it went to the police station, I'm sure the same time. So it was a Sunday. Because this story came out yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, me, I want what time did TV3 go there today? It was in the evening, evening news. news. Evening news. It happened at 12. They went there during the afternoon and got the story for their evening news. Because these but stories came out yesterday were, in the evening. But if it was 12 midnight, they would put emphasis on it. No, no, because no, 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 no. That one will even no, Chabu, give Chabu, them Chabu, more nah, reason Chabu, to end, of, end of the story. Sorry. It ah. was 28. Yeah. Today, 20. Monday, is 29. 29. Yes. And the story, this story came in the evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, end of the story. So it can't even be so made. So the twelfth, the twelfth is the next day. Do you, the twelfth mm -hmm. is the next day. day. When is twelfth? Is the next it's day. day. It's Monday. No, 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 no. no. When is twelfth? Twelfth is the next twenty-eight. Twelfth a.m. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. I get it. But, but they said twelve hours. Twelve yes. hours. Hey, but it's also twelve hours. Uh, no. In the evening, <laughs> the evening is twelve hours. So if uh, the other twelve will be twenty-four hours. If the betrays news is at six p.m. Yes. Mm -hmm. Twelve hours would that would it be twelve midnight? midnight yes. That's the calculation we should do. If it is six p.m. news. And they are talking about six. No, they, they are talking hours. about six. But, but, this, but this report not is not the news. news. No, this uh -huh. report is coming from the yes, forest the commission. Forest yes, yes. Uh -huh. at the time of the news. Uh -huh. At the time of the incidents. Yes. So, mm. so in the same report to the lands commission, mm. they can also report uh, that that is the time everybody will and gather the report for the. And they were not specific to say it happened midnight, midnight. twelve hours. Wow. That one, they we can't, we can't, uh, they did not, they did yeah, not yeah, yeah, because they will not favor the, the, the their story, report, their yes. narrative. If yeah. they say 12 uh, uh, hours uh, during the day, it will not uh, favor them. Mm. But well, if that, they say that, 12 well, hours in the night, it will favor them. No, we, I don't think. But they have time. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, that it's rather so that unfortunate yeah. because yeah, yeah. when we talk about the zoo, mm. we know we have wild animals in mm -hmm. here. So security should be very tight uh, very tight so in a case in no matter how it will happen whether the man tried to jump into it or the, the animals were left agile or not the case is solely to be blamed on the, zoo the zookeepers in either ways because in the first place we know somebody can even intrude to come and even kill the, the animals. animals. What yes. about that? Yes. You are causing law, financial laws to the state. Mm. So meaning at every hour, security must be tight to the extent of protecting the lives of visitors so that they, will, they wouldn't be hurt with by the, any of the animals. So negligence has, has a role to play here mm. by not taking care of people, even not believing everybody who comes there with will have a right motive mm -hmm. to be there. Mm -hmm. Some will come with different intentions. Mm. So whether the man came in there to steal whatever, the point is, if security was tight, somebody would have noticed him, and this thing would never happen. Mm. Mm. And so, and the report coming from, I think, is it the ministry? Mm -hmm. uh, Forestry. Forestry yeah, saying they don't blame. Yeah, they've cleared mm -hmm. them. How? Claim How them. can you clear them? Within a day, they have investigated and claimed. So the man was like an invisible being or was trying to sneak, whatever. He cleared them of any of what? For it the, is too for fast. It is too fast to say that <laughs> to say that you have cleared them of any security lapses. By what measures? Yes. What standards? What questions did you ask them that to come out like? I think the point is 
you have you have closed it down to do further investigations. investigations. Yes. Take your time, do your first investigation before you realize you will be able to identify one or two mistakes. Yeah. But to come off, so what is the essence of the investigation? Mm -hmm. It has it's not it's not needed anymore. But the person is dead, and he alone will be able to give a good account of what him. really happened. As it stands, none of the people saw what happened. None of the staff at the zoo saw what happened. Because according to the report, one of the guys were walking and saw the lifeless yes. body of the man. Yes. So nobody saw the action. Mm -hmm. So what basement, what basis did you say you have cleared them of any security lapses? Whilst no waiting. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kojo. Um, Chabo, come through. Um, let yeah, the, 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 there is an adage that um, uh, until the lions learn how to tell their own story. <laughs> the story of hunting will always yes. uh, favor the hunter. Mm. And this is a clear example. Now they can't take statement from the lion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for, mm -hmm. him to <laughs> for the lion, for the hungry lion <laughs> to also tell uh, part of the story that we want to know. I, I, I think obviously uh, there were security lapses, but uh, people, as we know them, they will clear their people from any wrongdoing or even negligence. But if you go deeper into the whole issue, uh, it's, it's obvious that there were some issues that they have to, at least, even if they won't tell us, I think they, they should be careful mm -hmm. so that something like this will not happen or even the lion will not be dead. Mm -hmm. What is going through my head now is, okay, the intruder, so he wasn't uh, holding any weapon. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. just entered to do what, to take the lion <laughs> with, no weapon. with no weapon. They, and they have not even said when they caught him, he had a bag, bag or, or something, like, yes. No. Something that he wanted was only lying, lying there. Lifeless body. body. With no sack. With no sack. With no bag. With no, bag, with no ID card. With no weapon, uh, knife, or even some catalyst to maybe nothing. And he was jumping that thing. A thing. With what? How? Like, well, anyway, I think... They have more questions to answer, but they, they, as we know them, they will clear their own people first. And then the, the, even the account wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Based on the report mm -hmm. that uh, his, mm -hmm. his subordinate uh, has given him, was what he was also uh, narrating to us or telling us. And I think they should do more than what they have done. I, I think this is not enough. Mm -hmm. we, we can't mm -hmm. just take this and then go to sleep. If we do that, things like this may happen again. Mm. So, so we will, we will plead with them that they should do proper investigation mm. instead of coming out just uh, uh, within 24 hours to say that you have finished investigation and your people they have cleared from all uh, uh, mistakes or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they it's too early for them to conclude like that. And uh, again, they they have to be careful how uh, they deal with their security issues. Mm. I mean, mm. uh, if nothing at all, they, they should be proper security for, yeah. for, for such place. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, otherwise, we may not hear good... This is not a good news anyway. Mm. But we, this will even affect their public pub relations. Yeah. Yes. yeah, because now people will be scared going there. Yeah. People will be scared going there. Yeah, 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 for sure. I think he tried my to do something like... Yeah. After <laughs> the story, yeah, I have to advise myself. Oh, take them to Kumasi. I think Kumasi is... Yeah, 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 no, you yeah, yeah, yeah. go to it. No, you go with me. Yeah. 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 Kumasi Zoo is safer. The way it is, I think mm. it is safer. Mm. And so, me, me, I think I, I will plead with them that they should do better than what they, they have done or what now they are reporting uh, okay. it's not good enough it may, uh, well. yes and it may happen again and we, we wouldn't like that okay nana come through what are you also saying mm -hmm. before I, i'll touch on the sad news uh let me announce that uh, media excel have also signed um some will say some will say uk yeah, based, UK -based yeah, gospel yeah. artists yes and i know some will say <laughs> 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 
questions about the statement and what is the what the values they are telling us yeah, have some i mean there are yeah. there are a lot of questions to be asked if mm -hmm. you should look at the report that is coming I mean, the report that is coming from even the forestry commission is not like a, a vivid report like here yeah. that they are telling people it is also what they also assume could have happened that is what they are just telling us so me, I would, I would wish that the police or, or uh, security services will do a proper investigation. It could be somebody who has been attacked and people, somebody trying to flip the stories around the no, no, dead no, body. No, 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 let me even add this, you know. I, I think was it the TV3 story or the UTV story? They showed a place where they suspect they might have, have, might have come from. See yeah, that that's thing? a TV3. That thing. Yeah. Mm. Based on the information that I've gotten from some key security people, mm. I can't believe that thing. Yeah. Because me, I have heard from a deep source security person. And when I say security person, I'm talking about the state security agencies. Mm. That sometimes when they go to robbery, when they go for robbery attacks and those calls, and they mistakenly shoot people mm. they can also turn and fire their own vehicles mm, and say mm. the guys fired yeah, them exchanging so it was yeah. self-defense yeah. and exchange mm -hmm. and they got caught. of course that's that's what i'm saying they shouldn't they should ask i mean they shouldn't leave like they stated in their statement that they have uh, let some people clear some people off mm. uh, whatever whatever i mean it shouldn't be mm. like that at this point everybody that is working there is a suspect Mm. and must be investigated mm. that is that is the most important that but is those who were on duty that yes day, yes everybody is a, everybody should be questioned Charlie, they shouldn't cannot sit here they and shouldn't yes yes uh, some of this can happen yeah. to anybody who mistake it can happen no recently question. our boy roland was there mm. yes yes and i mean let's not also forget <laughs> the the dangers and the threats of you know robbery and other things in within that Achimota mm -hmm. body area. Sometimes the other day I was passing around the Achimota, the game park. We use the game park. Yeah, 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 Somebody yeah. was telling me some serious story. No, no, don't that say if you are driving no, no, there, no. they will throw X into your windscreen. Yeah, no, when you stop, they will come and attack you. Then they, they will run into yeah. the forest. And mm -hmm. so, me, I think they should just do investigation. Some of that we cannot I agree, we cannot take this story because there are a lot of questions in it mm. plenty mm. the moment you watch news and they are saying you ask yourself uh, why would uh, mm. but mm. of course we have people too with mental issues and you don't know what they can also do mm. so they should just tackle the issues and be very transparent and not let if jatana will be why are you what are you, what do you have to hide mm. and if it is true that somebody have fallen into the lions, uh, then then, then the lion have chopped it up. What? <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, the person was not with the case, so yeah, you couldn't yeah. kill the lion. The lion has killed the person. So, so <laughs> what do you have to hide? Okay. So they should just do mm. investigation. Mm. This is Ghana. We will put out the news like this, put out statement, mm. and we will just tell, say, state in the city, oh, we are going to do investigation, and that, mm. that will be the mm. end of the story. Mm. But we will wish that down party as we know social media and and you know an active person that always go down get down to the bottom of some of these issue i want to trust that he and his people would get into this case proper proper and investigate it because it could be anything mm -hmm. it could be somebody murdering somebody and throwing the person mm -hmm. into the, the, mm -hmm. the zoo mm -hmm. it could be somebody going to steal it could be anything at all so they should mm -hmm. just investigate it and come and give us step proper details mm. and but, um, but in the in the statement mm -hmm. there was a line that the lions were coerced mm -hmm. into, into their, their cages, cages. Mm -hmm. meaning they were out 
Yes, the request. No. Oh, no, 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 like, no, no. What it means? Within, within, the, the, clap on the, within the perimeter, they, they have no, a, a small if, cage if, that they sleep in. If, 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 they want if them. it is a, a, an enclosed place, yeah. they have access to everywhere. Yes, okay. and then so they have a smaller one they that have places they can... You said you were saying they have places that they put their food, food there for them to eat. So... Apart from the big one, yes. there are compartments within you where they are. So yes. the were like what? If, if, then, like they have if they want to, they were like going, going to, to pick the everywhere. like going to pick the body, no. They have to make sure the lions are not close to. So, so that the really police, entered. so that the police, <laughs> yes. Yes. well, yeah, that's what they are saying. Um, I think a body like an Anarega, you have been executive before. Maybe you are still an executive of arts writers and mm. tourism. Mm. These are some of the things that you guys should champion mm. because this borders on tourism. Of course. In fact, we shouldn't see this to be politics. Yeah, yeah. This is not politics. This is tourism. Mm. And if now we put out information out there that oh, at Ghana Zoo, even South Africa, they have zoos, multiple animals. Mm. I don't know when a story came out like this. The last time we had lion killed someone, cry. so now that now he did not die. Some village mm. in Uganda. You, it was somewhere in Uganda. Uganda yeah. And that was not in, in a zoo. zoo. No. But there's wow. a video too on social wow. media where some in a zoo, that one day was in the zoo where the lion get hold of somebody. The man was trying. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, that, that guy, that guy, <laughs> it was his own no, image. No. So in this case, you see, w when the, the video came, it was, we had an description that I don't click, mm. don't get closer don't to Don't touch the animals. Yes. Don't touch the animals. So mm. if we are heard that, oh, this guy went there to attack the animals, mm. then we could have even blamed him. Mm. But there's, there should be guards there. Yeah. Mm. Some time, Knowing they that will some people can uh -huh. be stupid, even some you like need to check. For them, they will not even allow you to. But the, that another fact is, you see, me, I don't even believe the uh, crowd is active like that. Mm. So the number of even workers there might not be as we, we want to believe the it is. Mm. And I, wa I also want to believe that even some of the security there, crowd, in Chiyomokapapa, so... The work that they are doing, you know, you, I, I don't know how. Mm. It feels like if you want to rely on a commodity, just not going to be able to make a commodity. Like a security, one security ah, guy gosh, I, I know gosh, ah. is in one bank. What the hell? Wait, do you mean that I could check the photo? No, good. Guys, <laughs> right, so like I'm saying, this, this hinges on mm. tourism. We need to all wake up. We all have to be active and look out for a solution so we look good. Else, mm. okay, so one association to another association before we move into the active um, entertainment or showbiz related stories. Now, let's go to um, Kumase. And uh, in Kumase, we are also gathering that Orike is in trouble for saying on Oyepa FM that um, if uh, Manchia Palace if they have the power to instruct some people to do things, why are they not telling others to do uh, to stop Galamse? In fact, the fight on Galamse, um, successive government, they have all tried um, unsuccessfully to prevent people from doing the Galamse business. And Odike, who is a politician, a businessman, and he has made that statement to uh, the guys at Manchia or to the authorities in Manchia, and they are not too cool with it. As it stands now, information we have is that the Manchia team, led by one of their Bank Tamahine, Bank Tamahine, okay, yeah. Bank Tamahine, only said that guys, if whatever the man said in your studio, if you think that he was wrong, if you think that you have heard and that you'd want to come to us for any negotiations for us to talk, then what you have to do is that. Put off your radio station before you even decide to walk to because they know that if they complain that oh we are not happy with what the man said they know you come and mm. maybe apologize mm. they know you come and uh, start some talking but before you even come to do the talking knowing that you've done something wrong then put up the station before you come and this has not landed with some people others are even thinking oh it is because um, the Manchia Palace, they have authority, they have power to rule almost everything, the Shanti Kingdom, so they can just tell a radio station to shut down and the radio station will go down. We're going to listen to exactly what um, the Bant Bantamahine said. Then when we come back, we have seen a delegation of the clergy, we've seen the, a delegation of some um, influential people in Ghana heading to Manchia to go and apologize on behalf of the station and some more. 
Let's first watch what the Banta Mahini said. Then we come back to the studio. I know this has been discussed, I think, somewhere last week yeah. when I was going through my other rounds. And the information is that people are not happy with the action from Mancia. Others are even accusing them that they are using the excessive powers, they are being authoritarian, and it goes on like that. What is the position that should be taken on this particular issue? Watch it. I'm back. <laughs> If it's as some young farmer who moves us and get to Ivy, Naka Obey, and dip him a more drop Yan and Nanum Yanua, Yeni Besso, Ya Besso near Tumofo, Ningin Ama. She said, and an unknown kind of Ya, Menomo Yadreno, Monsen, Uncle Pedipima, a more drop, Namon Faman and Nanum. Nasamo Pesse, Yamusman Mohodia. And now, Momo de Ru Emma Asante, my gun and mind in a yassin in a anti summer foam into Mopa or Macho and Nam Santi, some of us said, Mansha who said, Mania Nuono, anti a free fiada. I caught Pimsa, some of the kind we know, radio station, no, Montimumbe. All right, so you saw the video as was said by the Banta Mahine, also from Manchia Palace, telling the management and staff of Oyrepa FM. And they say before, I'm sure no longer when they were giving some notice to stop those kind of programs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some, yeah, some people, people were said, giving yeah, suggestions that to they yeah. should stop that kind of program. That was, well, I think it was a police officer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, so let me also show you a video of um, some influential people heading to Manchia uh, to just go talk to Nananum and the authorities, traditional authorities there at the Manchia Palace. Let's watch it when I come back. You will see how best we can also discuss this. high-level delegation including the Ghana Journalist Association and the former chairman of the National Peace Council most Reverend Emmanuel Asante made their way to the Manchia Palace to plead on behalf of Oyerepa FM. But Oyerepa FM despite everything is still enjoying some publicity when their station comes on again in the Ashanti region people will really be listening to them to find out how they'll be behaving on air it's <laughs> going to be an interesting one Chibu, yeah. uh, you know the kumasi more yeah. um first of all those who are attacking my Japanese, what is their motive uh, I, I i i really don't know why they will, they should even do that it, it, especially based on this case it, it's direct and the message from the king or the chief wasn't in any way an order it was a suggestion that if you are coming to apologize, you have to come in good faith. Mm -hmm. In fact, they were there to apologize in the first place. Yeah. They didn't mm -hmm. call them to come and apologize. Mm -hmm. They saw that they have done something wrong, so they have to apologize. So they went to Manchia to apologize. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the chief at that time suggested to, to the uh, delegation there at that time that 
uh, this is not a proper apology. If you have to come here to apologize, you have to do it right. And, uh, and in this case, the way that they will accept that apology or they will uh, be sure that you are coming in good faith mm -hmm. is to stop working or operation mm -hmm. until you come here like apologize. Like they've done to Yes. <laughs> like <laughs> like they've done to the Yes. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it, it wasn't an order. So people, I, I've seen some of the comments, even one coming from Manasi Azuri Awini, mm -hmm. when uh, he said if you can order people to close down radio station, you should be able to order Chinese people to stop Galamsey. Mm. And something like that, I think it's not a fair comment coming from somebody like Manas. It's, it's mi misleading. Okay. Uh, the, the fact is that I, I, I can't see or I can't even think of any legal way that uh, Mensha can fight uh, Galamsey mm -hmm. menace without Ghana government coming mm -hmm. in. Support, yeah. Yeah, because Mensha, they don't have any police. They don't have any military mm. on their side. So how are they mm. going to fight mm. Galamse without the government? Mm. So and it is not only in the Shanti region, region that th th this thing is yeah. happening there. Yeah. So it will be unfair to attack Mensha based on that. Mm. Yeah, some people are saying that because he's in charge of the uh, the chiefs or the, the other sub-sub-chiefs yeah. who are also responsible in, in, in this case sometimes uh, rent or lease the the land to the galamsea but the point is that uh Otunfo is still at the mensha when you go and report such case you react upon oh them. exactly based on uh, the authorities that he has mm -hmm. as a king so if uh, somebody is doing let's say galamsea in a uh, uh, mansion mm -hmm. and then you you come and report it to Otunfo, Otunfo will call the uh, chief there and then the chief will say, oh, Nana, it's not true, they are lying. How would Otunfo verify it? He has to go with his delegation or with the military or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they will go there, see that, okay, it is happening. Then Otunfo will order maybe the military mm -hmm. to stop them. Mm -hmm. they, those people can take it to court mm -hmm. where Otunfo cannot uh, say anything in that sense. Mm -hmm. So the court has ordered that uh, you are doing legal thing, go and do it again. What can Otunfo do? In that case, yeah, so it will be unfair for people to insult him without even talking about what the government is doing or what the government has done. They have the power because the government will have the military on their side, the police on their side. Mm -hmm. So if they are not acting, why do you go to Tun for an insult? Him? Mm -hmm. I think, yes, you can say that he should try and even work with the government to do something better. And I, I saw a video that Otun was also complaining the same way that yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I believe that among us, some of the chiefs are also yeah. taking yeah. part of it. Yeah. Yeah. So if I, you are, yes, before. so if you are a chief and you are letting that happen in your area, shame on you. Mm. you do you think if Otun legally can do something about that, he won't do it? He will just mention and, 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 yeah. and, then sit, and sit somewhere or something. No. So I think for those who are uh, insulting Otunfo, it's, it's for no reason. It's not fair comment to make. Mm -hmm. And in this case in particular, it wasn't an order. It was a suggestion that if you want to apologize to me mm -hmm. and you want to come in good faith, then go and do this. Go this way. But if you think you have not done anything wrong... Come and defend mm -hmm. it. Yes. yes. In fact, in, in the video he said it. The same way say. And no never mention Shia. And who knows say? Monu Muhu. We are going to say Muhu. Yes, sir. You be bad be two two more radio station. No go. You be bad be. We are saying say Muhu. Person who say Monu Muhu. There. Monu two more radio station. No. Now Mumra. I'm in case. No. Now say Muhu. Yes, sir. Mention Shia. And no more. A child panin two. If I want to say Kumasi, my Asante Mampo. He was so specific. Say mention Shia. And the in this contest is the eldest or yeah. the leaders of yeah. Ashanti Kingdom. Mm. 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 Um, the whole of, the whole of uh, even Ashanti Kingdom in, uh, okay. for that matter. Mm. So for those who are uh, going that direction, insulting Otun for based on the fact that they have shut down a uh, radio station in Kumasi, I think it's not a fair comment. If you want to be fair, yes, you can say that I think the authority should do better or allow right. the because it's not my shut down. down. Yes. They, they shut their own, own thing down. down. Based on 
what so they think might has happened. Yes. Mm. And so for people like Manasi, mm. a, 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 a very uh, prolific journalist, yeah. if I should put it that way. I've also too. been seeing Professor Jampo also throwing showers here and there. Yes, I mean some prominent people just saying freedom of speech and all that, but this has nothing to do with. Uh, we won't allow you to work or you it's just a suggestion if you are coming to me in good faith mm. do something for me to see mm. that mm. you are coming in good faith mm. so I, I i would suggest that those making such comments should should, should i mean be a bit uh, fair mm -hmm. for in, in their comment uh, you can still criticize them for something that they have done wrong or they are not doing right mm. but the going this direction just to insult people i think is it's not fair for anybody to go that mm. direction i see could you how do you also um judge this case uh, how do you understand it mm. yeah, i think um Udike was uh, reckless in, mm -hmm. in his speech um, you can't order much under no circumstance mm -hmm. how he presented his case is that he's ordering them to do this else i will do this in the form of even threat yeah. to threaten that you are going to incite mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. youth of ashanti kingdom against Manshia. Which is, which is never done. And, and, and I think the reason why our development as a nation is not that seen much is some of these things. Because we have lost our cultural values. Mm -hmm. Before, the chiefs were very powerful until the laws of Ghana were, was amended mm -hmm. and they were robbed of their power. Mm -hmm. So now they are, they are insignificant. Mm. You could be in your home, but the government is controlling mm. everything over yeah. there before they mm. have the power. Mm. Mm. And so when people don't understand some of these things and they come attacking people with the issues that even, who, who are the people doing the government? Yeah. It is not the citizens. Yeah. It is the citizens. Strike right now and tell them to stop. They will come against you. You, this is what we use to feed our family, mm. blah, 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 mm. and you want us to. And it's the same people who will drink the water. Mm. It's our own water. We want to destroy it. Mm. Ah, they, they, they present the issue as if some, uh, some can be, can be even some. the Chinese, they work with the Ghanaians. Mm. It is a Ghanaian who will dig it, go in there. The agents and all of them. I just do the Ghanaian say, forgetting that this water, my mother will come and drink. Mm. I also drink some. Mm. We've seen government fight this. What is their resource? They will tell you no. At the end of the day, for the government also don't not to lose power, they will leave it. Allow them to also make money. In the end of the day, our water bodies will be destroyed, and we will come back pointing accusing fingers on on the chief. All the people. Firing Mashia, I think um, they are they are they have gotten it wrong. Mashia has done nothing wrong. I even thought it was a command. I thought it was a command. But mm -hmm. watching the video, mm -hmm. they were liberal to them. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you think you have aired, then come, come and apologize mm -hmm. and put the put the uh, uh, station off, off because you are living within a, a, a society. Mm -hmm. Somebody is a custodian mm -hmm. of where you are. Mm -hmm. but, but what I've also heard is that. To the people of Oyepa FM, mm. they also felt because of that statement, they know the authority, they know the power that Manshia wields. That even if they don't put off the station, some people could take advantage of it to come and mess them up. Of course, yes. uh -huh. of course. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. Who, who caused it? They should go ahead and do it. Yeah, because you tell that I have power, unlike maybe other jurisdictions. But no, they, no, so, they, so, I, I don't know how you understood me. So, because they know that if we don't do it, some people can use this to cause mayhem, we have to put it off. So, those who are fighting back are thinking it is because of what you said, because of your power, you abused your power in telling someone to put off your station. So, why are we so hypocrites? Why are Ghanaians so hypocritical like that? Why do we always check the reactions, but not the actions? We are so hypocritical. Somebody will do something, and when somebody reacts, they will now turn against the one who is reacting. Why are we always like that? Are they supporting what Odike did because he has the power of the microphone? So you you speak recklessly. 
attack them, most of the things you may not have the facts. You you would say vividly like yeah, you have the facts. You know what happened. You accuse, you call in ancestors, mention names of and uh, or two false predecessors that would they be happy when you die and go, would they be happy? Cert and kind of ah. so you see certain things you don't say it. And it's because now we don't value tradition anymore. Elsewhere, maybe you put your head on, on the line. But because now we believe in the modernization, democracy, and stuff, and we are losing everything. And that is why a young guy will go on social media and insult. Because an elder like Odike, who's supposed to um, send forth his message very, in a very decorum, decorous way, rather fired. So the young ones listen watching up to it, we think it is okay. And sorry, yes, you we we know some of the elders do certain things that we are not okay. But for courtesy, if you are addressing them, address them in that respectful manner. So that they can even listen. But when you go and die and you, you let loose and you speak anywhere, anyhow, and command them that if you don't do this, if you I don't hear from you. You don't speak about the issue. I'm organizing a demonstration against you. What are you trying to say? Then they also tell you that we have power. Mm -hmm. If you think they are against you, take them to court. Mm -hmm. If Odike think, yes, Kumase is an open city that I am working legally. My, my company is registered. There's no way you can order me to close it. Then go, go ahead and work. Whatever, take them to court. And let's see how it will turn out. So the people in Swahili, yes, that is why Ghana will not move forward. Ghana will continue to be like this. Because in as much as we are looking at, we are learning things from the West, the West, and we think, oh, everything is okay now. We should, we should know, understand as a people, what are our values and our norms. Mm. And hold on to it. Because it is from that that we will develop. That our generations will come and learn the writings mm. of the land. Mm. But if we go this way, that when we are on radio, we don't care, we don't care, we speak anywhere without any risk. Because if we are a radio station and somebody is saying things, you need to guide them. Did they do that? They just allowed him to speak anyhow. You can even cut the show off yeah. if the person, mm. you want the person yeah. one, yeah. two, three, yeah. and the person still persists. Mm. You can call off the show. Mm. Then they will know that, oh, you did the right thing. But it's like, okay, it's an agenda. Even me, the host, I support what yeah, you are saying. Yeah. So, more yeah. fire. More yeah. fire. Yeah. More fire. So, I, I don't know. I think they should have even closed it down. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Because it is, their, it is their land. Okay. I see. Um, it is their land, but they don't have the power to just do anything. Yes. Uh -huh. And then you, you are insulting them for not doing anything about Galamsey. Mm -hmm. How? Yes, what nah, you put yes, nah, nah, wrap up on mm -hmm. this. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. The other day I said here that there is some deliberate, you know, uh, I, uh, attacks on... on uh, to score for, political points. Yeah, points. just to score political points. That one, we can never take it away. Those of us who understand it, we know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the likes of Professor Jampu and mm -hmm. Manasseh mm -hmm. and those other people making, you know, issues and throwing shots all in the name of uh, um, freedom of speech and abuse mm -hmm. of power. I think freedom of speech is not uh, freedom of to stupidity or anything. Yeah. If somebody does something and the person is being reckless, you need to face it and tell the person that you've been reckless. Yeah. You didn't. You shouldn't have gone to this uh, extent. Extent. Yes. Let the person know. But to shield the person and protect the person in the name of freedom of speech is also stupidity. Mm. So they should set up as people, as prolific journalists, as Manasseh, they should set up and understand some of these things and not mislead people who he thinks that might not agree to what Menshia is doing mm -hmm. because maybe they are not from Ashanti or they are not Akans or mm. that, is, that is more dangerous to our country. Mm -hmm. If people like Manasseh and Professor Jampo between such shots and with such an agenda, then it's it's very very dangerous for this country mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, it will be like I can disrespect Tobi, 
are fed mm -hmm. because I'm not everything. Mm -hmm. I can disrespect yeah. the the Gamma 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 Yes, say who name say what form? Oh, form ya. Now your program, Papa. Go ahead and do your program. Nobody is chasing you. For you to even assume say once Bank to my hand have said that or have suggested that to you, if you don't shut it down, somebody will. They even went to mention. Not them. Someone them to come. They they summoned you to come. Come on. You went there. So indirectly, you have admitted. So what are those people? You went there to apologize. Nobody summoned you to come. Have gone there to mm. apologize. Mm. They've realized they've had, and they've mm. gone there to mm. apologize. Mm. And they are suggesting the to them to do it the right way. Who are like defending the issue? What are they defending? defending. What? Only part of it, and I don't know. Also, I think we can go patch up. I know more trouble. We can't even patch up. We can't even wait for the patch up. We are just a chopper. Who is it? And what got in the radio? This will be only Kumasi. And this is what some people have been seeing from. I say <laughs> you can stay outside Kumasi mm -hmm. and disrespect Mensha, but not but in not in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. If you sit in Kumasi and you disrespect Mensha, they will react, mm -hmm. and that is not an abuse of power. I think that me, I will even advise the other regions to take up some of these attitudes yes. to protect the respect that they have for their kings and lands. Yeah, it is very very important. I mean, recently the girl. The yes, the, the first one started it. Mm. Uh, it is very, very. Uh, I think we need to. We it should be enforce a it. Yes, we sh it should be a deliberate thing that we should enforce that every region, at least everybody, should protect their territories, like the kings, the mm. values, the mm. the traditions. Mm. There, mm. let's put some respect on mm. it. Mm. Those leaders, they are more or less like any leader in the country. They can also get it wrong in some of their directions, mm. decisions. Let's criticize them. But to dis to disrespect them and try to drag them in the mud because you think he belongs he, or you assume he belongs to a certain political party or his terrain is for a certain political party and so let's drag when we drag him in the mud then we will score political points like what kind of sick mentality is that people should stop that me I am proud of what Mencia and the Kumasi people are doing I have been saying that when it comes to their uh, Kings and how they go about with their directions. Even the people cry, they will not allow you. Yeah, yeah. The people will not allow you to. That is why I mean, when I watched with the case, I was like, this man, Ojanemu. Which which area in Kumase can you can Odike go and stand and incite them against? Mobilize uh, against Mensha. To go against Mensha. No, no, Grand Canal can't take Grand Kobefa. Say, Omo, they should go and do it. They should go and they should demonstrate. go and demonstrate against Otunfo. Sometimes. Some people, in the name of politics, they just brag and no market can send me It will incite other people who are not maybe in that same area. And then, now, what I'm saying, eh, it is not just Oyerepa and Mencia and Tokwa. Mm -hmm. You, for all you know, the understanding some people will get, it will go down and trigger some of this tribal mm -hmm. nonsense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is why we should look at this case very, very well and tackle it very, very well. Because the people say, oh, we will come crazy because you're a pack crap on a more shed than yet a santifuente no more young. Right? Somebody can conclude mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But it won't work because but they, they, they even said that they had only one person coming from Central Region. Oh, the rest were all uh, Ashanti people. Well, no, the, no, no, no. Who is the winner of the? the, the uh, I don't know the name, but he is also an Ashanti. No, if Vim Bant by him, no, 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 Oh, yeah, then. Oh, come on, land. Oh, no, no, I am a son. Oh, no, 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 I So the the point is the point is that yes the point is that Mensha will do what is appropriate for you. I'm telling you, the whole band of my hair no crap for Mensha. I want that for me to match up. So if if they will do that to their own like, why do you think that they 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 don't want to tackle a 
gallancy mm. mm. with the people that they don't even they have their power. They should, they should, they should start okay. that. Okay, so um, a message to some of our journalists and how ah. we discuss issues when they come up. I really? think um, if we can go behind the scenes to do further research into the issues, we would understand because uh, Manchia did not order that they put off their station. Yeah. It was a condition given to them that if you think it is like this, then maybe they also looked at the if and they thought that yes, the if was the best thing to do. And I'm sure as yeah. it stands now, after the delegation we just saw with the um, the, the, the peace people, peace council, and all those. I'm sure by today, tomorrow, oh, they peace do will prevail for and sure. The station will bounce back. Yeah. And it goes on like that. Now, before I introduce my next topic, um, I want to put out my support behind one lady who is doing extremely well for Accra Technical University, that is Kojo King's alma mater. Um, mm -hmm. This lady called um, Roda Nalate. Roda Nalate is actually looking for the position as the next LCRC Women's Commissioner for the Accra Technical University. That is the next SRC uh, Women's Commissioner for Accra Technical University. She is actually an ideal woman and a ladies' frontier. Uh, she also has a foundation called the Rodilat Foundation. I have known her. I know she worked so hard. And on this note, I want to also put my support behind her. Uh, that is with the Lat Foundation. Uh, if you are in the school of Accra Technical University, please, Sammy Flex, I'm pleading on all of you guys to vote for Rhoda Na Latte uh, to win the next LCC Women's Commissioner. Uh, she is the best candidate for the position. Uh, yeah. What do you want to say? Why the, the gender agenda? Well, it's it's. I, I think I I would defend her on that. <laughs> uh, in in my normal mood, I I I, I won't defend her. But this case, because it's for women, uh -huh. women position. No, women position. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So let's let's. No, that position, position no man, man can, can hold it to. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. so uh -huh. what uh -huh. she means is that when she wins, wins uh -huh. she's going to, to look for women's, women's rights right to come up more. Uh -huh. oh, okay. She will champion uh -huh. women's rights. Yeah, and and I think she she's the best person. For the position, thank they, you. Chemo. They, they should vote for another regard to do. I'll report him to Ben Shah. All right, so Rhoda, um, congratulations <laughs> to you in advance. Um, uh, Team Flex, uh, TV, we are behind you, and we want the whole ATU to vote for you. In fact, you are the best for this job, and I know the gender agenda will <laughs> agend. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> the gender agenda yeah, will agend. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want to read this story briefly, and I have this question to ask that after reading the story, whether you guys will see this story as someone who is making Ghana look good or someone who is making Ghana look bad. Because the person, the shim, talked about two things. She talked about, or he, he talked about <laughs> one positive and also talked about another negative. And we know the person is influential. We know that this year, Ghana has launched Destination Ghana. We want people to come to Ghana to have fun, December. We want people to come to Ghana to chill. We want people to come to Ghana and feel safe, not being scared that a lion will eat them. <laughs> we want people to come to Ghana and know that if they wake up and they have good money, they are safe and they can have enough fun. But a foreigner comes to the country with great influence on social media and tells people that Ghana is boring, but the people are good. I'm confused. I'm not too sure where, how we should take this. Should we take it in good faith or in bad faith? Now, let me read the story. Say, Ghanaians are nice. But their city is boring. And Bobriski is talking here. Nigeria's famous Bobriski is talking here. Recently, when Nigeria was banned from traveling to Dubai, I heard she bought tickets, stayed for a hotel, blah, 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 blah. Couldn't even go. I don't know what has happened to those um, tickets and uh, the amounts she paid or he, he paid. I'm sure it is the same money he's converted and he, she. She, 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 
<laughs> she in with my that boots, in my boots, the only she <laughs> is the one who can give that thing. Mm. Hey, so in this, he she. <laughs> 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 okay, so let's read the story once again. It says, Nigerian famous cross dresser Idris Okuneye, chiefly known as Bob Risky, flew into Ghana for a short stay vacation. However, she has disclosed plans to return to her country due to boredom. She has disclosed plans to return to her country due to boredom. I know this case is very sensitive and I want us to handle it very carefully. Bob Risky in a self-recorded video stated that Ghana is nice. Ghana is beautiful. But one thing about Ghana I don't like is it is too calm. It is too boring. The social media influencer who has a large following said she did not feel the energy in Ghana's capital, Accra, compared to Lagos. Bob Risky, who loves to dress in women's clothes and slay in her extensions, credited Ghanaians for being hospitable and receptive, adding that she has given a warm, or she was given a warm welcome upon her arrival. I can't wait to get back to my Nigeria. I can't wait to get back to our Lagos. But trust me, there are nice people in Ghana. I got to immigration yesterday and they treated me so well. Even at the hotel, they were so nice and super awesome. But it's just that it is so boring. There are less social activities. But apart from that, Ghana is a beautiful place. Bob Risky disclosed. Now, the famous West African crush dresser met up with the Ghana singer Mona for real. She also made headlines for charging upset prices for business promotions on her social media pages. And there is a video evidence to what we have read from Ghana Web. We will watch the video briefly and I'll start with Nana Regan. And once again, my focus is on tourism in this particular story. Tourism, in the sense that we want people to know that, yeah, Ghana the be, Ghana the job, Ghana is vibely, Ghana is bubbly. But now this is someone who's just saying there are no there are less social activities here. Ghana is boring and she has to go back to her country, Nigeria. How should we take this? Should we take this as a compliment or should we take this as an abuse? Well, my people will speak and I know you also have your own opinion at your own time. Watch this video when I come back. You have a vibe. Ghana is beautiful, but one thing about Ghana that I don't like Ghana is beautiful. But one thing about Ghana that I don't like is it's too calm, it's too boring. Oh, I can't wait to go back to my Nigeria. I can't wait to go back to my Lagos, our Lagos. But trust me, there are nice people in Ghana. There are awesome people. I got to the immigration yesterday. They treated me so nice, so lovely. They are lovely people. Even at the hotel, they're so nice like everybody in Ghana are super awesome but it's just that it's so boring there are, there are less social activities but apart from that Ghana is a beautiful place so that was um Bob Risky Nigeria's famous cross-dresser and um, she was in Ghana since you guys want me to. All you say is you say he. She. <laughs> <laughs> she was in Ghana and according to her, Ghana is so boring. Um, less social activities. Nana Regan just asked the question of her. Uh, who hosted her? Where did they take her to? And all those things. So my, my discussion is that this is the year where we are also expecting people to come to Ghana to have fun. We've launched, as in the whole country has launched Destination Ghana. Ever since we started the year of return, almost every year we come up with a team to uh, welcome guests from around the world. I think when we launched the year of return, Ghana received the highest number of visitors ever in the history. And the, the, the authorities, the tourism authority are really happy about this and they want to do more. But this is what Risky telling the world that Ghana is boring. And no one wants to go to a holiday at a boring destination. No one. No one. Everyone wants to go to some place that they will feel like, yeah, Charlie, I come chill. I remember when I went to uh, Dubai, I met with some ladies from Cameroon and one other lady like that. And we went out with one guy. And the lady said, yeah, they love Dubai. All because they said, Dubai, they be, Dubai doesn't sleep. Like, that's what people want to hear. Dubai doesn't sleep. Every time there's something happening in Dubai. 
In fact, some people start even work late because that is when the, the country is even more active. Some mm -hmm. people start work like 9 p.m. That's mm -hmm. when they are going to work throughout. Mm -hmm. At every point, and somewhere is vibing, somewhere is kicking. And now, Bobriski says Ghana is boring, but the people are nice. Should we take this as a compliment on abuse, Nana? Well, now it is strictly an abuse for um, Bob Risky. She shouldn't have said that. <laughs> she shouldn't. <laughs> she must have disappointed me. <laughs> that I can't be serious. Be serious, boy. You go. No, 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 she, has, she has really disappointed me. I mean, it's it's an issue we shouldn't take lightly. Like Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for the fact that we have launch destination then and we are expecting more foreigners to come in the country this is in but to come and have fun and chill. I mean, this is this is an issue that some of us that have platforms like this should address and make the world understand that. Um, but basically, came to a host that was boring mm. and did not really give him or like take him to places that she would have fun. I mean Omotola was here. Mm -hmm. Omotola never said Ghana is boring. I mean Jim mm -hmm. Ike was recently here. So he went with he was with um, the Lion Killer. They were Jim Ike is out. always here. Uh -huh. So, so it means I mean, recently the so the video even just went in and he just came in square, uh, square. Square. Uh, his like mm -hmm. it is just uh, I don't know. I, I want to believe that maybe she had some expectations and she couldn't meet it. Maybe she was expecting Ghanaian should come to come and meet her at the airport like we you know, we receive Shatawali when she travels and yeah, once again is your host. But, but, but it is not anybody that will enjoy that thing. Mm -hmm. She has to just accept that. That the fact that you're on social media as a famous cross dresser doesn't mean when you enter a crowd, everybody should whatever they are doing and then they should come after you and be chasing you with their phones and no unfortunately for her in a crowd cross dresses are even more boring because they they, they live a certain hidden lifestyle mm -hmm. they don't they mm -hmm. are not in there. the open yes in the open like that where everybody yeah. knows oh this guy is a cross dresser then they'll be mm -hmm. having fun mm -hmm. anywhere like that they'll do it they and that, they, mm -hmm. yes so that is how boring their life is so if you come in and you you don't meet such okay, I, people, I, I like this point. it will you, the country would definitely be boring for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but apart from Angel mm -hmm. Magazine, who oh, has been oh, opening, I'm and telling you, even Magazine, if you put her here, she will tell you she feels very very bored sometimes. But sometimes she can't go to some places, of course. And even their own organized parties, cry. even when people wants to go, they have to hide. They have to protect them so I me mean, i've gotten invites to attend some of their they call it coded party and now what am i coming to do at a coded party i want party that everybody knows that we are having party here we are mm. having fun in a real social life uh -huh. so why should i hide and come to some house and come and party for what mm. Mm. so that would, that is how boring the whole situation is so it is very very unfortunate and i think the host did not try for her she should have come so that i host her Mm. So that I would take her to certain place. I would have even taken her to Marcel. Mm. And she she would understand that she but, has, what, what, what happens at Marcel? Oh there's there's a new there's a place there. Uh -huh. city, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. It's like the night is like daytime for them. Hey. They don't joke there. Yeah, make them say that. Don't say that. Uh -huh. So it won't room. Mm. 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 <laughs> so mm. there are a lot of places that you can go and have fun. Even in Osu. Also, it's like a whole fun park area that you can still go and have fun. Maybe if you come and you oh, go and oh, hide, you can in. take her to Kaswa inside mm -hmm. hotel. You understand? Mm. Mm. You cannot come and hide in uh, East Legon or or uh, Airport Hills or whatever, and expect to have fun like somebody in at Mount Seven or Sutum or Kashima or La Paz. Did she come to La Paz? I'm not sure. She should have come to La Paz. <laughs> <laughs> There's some of our place so cheap for a brand. No, yeah. there are expensive places there. People mm -hmm. have hideouts hide there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
Where the action is uh, yeah, right. and, and then well, I'm she wanted you social life. Like, yeah, yes. What I'm saying is because because it's not, no, I get you, I get you. I'm sure that she went to the expensive places. Oh mm. ah. I'm meeting uh, uh, Mona for Mona for you. Know yeah. where Mona for will take it. Yeah. And for her to say it is boring, it means she was looking for something different. Yeah. So let us take her there, so that she will meet some of her uh, Lagos, Lagos. That and is the kind of life. That is the life they live there. Mm. Poolside mm. Hotel, Kaswa. Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> no, even those places that I'm mentioning there. Uh, uh, could you Saturday, I, I'm promising you, that I'll take Kojo to Lagos, and there's an executive place for people, big profile people. They hide out there. They have fun, and they can be there till like six a.m. I'm telling you. But still, some when people we mention, go there. When yeah. we mention, just because of the name, if uh -huh. you can brand a section like gold, but still, mm -hmm. the name will it put it certain personalities. Okay. Okay. wrapping up. It depends. So, mm -hmm. Razan, what I'm saying is that it's it's an abuse, and we shouldn't take it lightly because we need to, you know, debunk it and make sure we are promoting the country because there have been a lot of Nigerians that have come to the country and describe the country as an exciting place yeah. so what is Bogriski saying maybe she didn't meet her <coughs> sorry <coughs> expectations and she should just take it like that it's I nobody's see. fault i see um Kodjo, thank you nana Riga. Kodjo, how do you also see it oh, because no. she said the people are nice but the place is boring i don't see it as any anything serious the point is boring is relative you can go to dubai you can go to America, and it will be boring to you, uh, but depending what, what on you. Preach? Because this is someone who came to Ghana as a tourist, uh -huh. and talking about her experience, yes, which can also influence someone. I imagine she said, "Hey, Ghana, Charlie." I, I want to live here forever. Like the way Whiskey and Benham Boy, they have been saying, Charlie exactly. Ghana is my second home. It gives you a confidence that this is the place I have to come to. Exactly my case. You need to define what really caused the boredom mm -hmm. so that people would know but when you say it's boring accra is calm mm -hmm. how can accra the whole of accra be calm mm -hmm. it's clearly where you went and the kind of people who you met and what your expectations were we can't define the circle of his people crowd will make it more boring because when they go out they will all be sitting down showing no because you were a man lifestyle. i'm sitting with you i know you were a man Oh, that you are dressed you like know. a woman. No, I no I'm, the people he met, as ah, asking what you say. Okay. You meet Hadia for real. He knows you are a man. What Jan will cry on her. The better when he asks. Oh yeah, you think I will have a show? We will have a show. So it, it can be a statement in its entirety that Ghana is boring. Any everybody can come with an expectation, and even you have to um, describe your expectations clearly for people to know. Mm -hmm. You are a tourist, okay? Mm -hmm. When I come to Ghana, I want to. I've heard of maybe Kolegono. Mm -hmm. I've heard of this. I've, I've heard of that. I mm -hmm. want to see those mm -hmm. places. Mm -hmm. If you leave it at the discretion of your host, the person can decide. Okay, I think I enjoy this place. Let me take you there and see if you love it. Mm -hmm. So in that one, in that sense, it can't be that her cry is boring. Mm. It depends on her, her, his expectations, mm. and clearly his expectations. She he couldn't meet he meet it. Mm. Mm. Probably he wants to meet his, his kind of people mm -hmm. and have certain. Does he does he have a girlfriend? Uh, a boyfriend. I can't be so sure. Oh, say she should have a boyfriend. <laughs> I I can't be so oh, sure about he. that. So let's assume she came alone. He came alone. So mm. if maybe he he got a partner, they f they find him her, him a girl. So get to my side. Oh, get to my side. Can you buy you asking if the breast was real? Yeah. Yes. I, I I know he he has underwent uh, he has undergone uh -huh. uh, surgery, but uh -huh. but surgery. Uh -huh. mm. 
Oh, but the bat I saw in another video was not strange. Oh no, that he has yeah. go, he has gone. Hey! No, 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 no. no. Ah. Oh, he's gone. Oh. Okay. Oh no no no! Ah, but I've seen. Oh, that. he's oh, gone for she, mad she, she, surgery. She, 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 that one there. There's another video. She was dancing. Be no, no about two no, years no. ago. But Risky yeah. has gone. No for. no. Once she came to Ghana. Ah. No, I'm saying he's he's gone for that. The bat there. He has done. He has done it. Oh, left Why with did the. I keep this link. Okay. I, I kept it somewhere. Bro. Oh, he has gone. If you if you like, go and check on the news. You see that he's he's undergone um bat surgery. I see. Yes. So, uh, Bob Risky's issue cannot be. Take taking serious because we have a, if it's about Nigerians, we have a lot of Nigerians who come here mm -hmm. every now and then. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. when Jim I comes here, places that we take him, mm -hmm. he enjoys Ghana. Yeah. Even when it comes to us, the first place, the food and other things that we will provide him, mm -hmm. where we he's always happy coming to Ghana. Mm. Same thing, talk about the video, mm -hmm. Whiskey, Benna Boy, mm -hmm. and a host of them. So it depends on first the one you, you met and the, your taste. Mm. Maybe the person, the things you are demanding from the person, the person can't even provide them. Mm. 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 So if you are going to any, any country as a tourist, there should be something that is attracting you to that place. Yeah. Else, you, you, you as a tourist, you are you are, you got it all wrong. You can't just decide I'm going to Nigeria as a tourist for what? What is the point of attraction? Mm. What is taking you there? Exactly. So whatever that is taking you there, this meaning is saying is fake. Yeah, it's, it's serious because the breast she's shaking here. Baby. Oh, but the silicone breast can mm. look so mm. natural. So maybe he has. Yeah, she she has done no, it. no, no. It's, it's not silicone that's in your body. Silicone that you wear. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm. So there should be a point of attraction. So whenever you go there, if you don't find that thing, then you can tell me that it is bored. Or maybe whatever I was expecting, I didn't get it. Because you asked as a tourist. But we can all travel to, oh, maybe I want to go to Nigeria and see how life there is. And I will be disappointed. Because what I'm used to, I may not get it there. Mm -hmm. But in tourism, we know even the year of return, the people who are coming, they know why they are coming. Yeah. Some of them for the fact that they want to trace their African I descent. Some of them came to just get pregnant. Exactly. That is the latest mm. addition. Uh, yeah. 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 That's I mean, the latest you, you addition. Treated the story. Yeah, yeah, you see. Yeah, get pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And they were even saying it on the house you were talking about. That's Bob Risky's house. I'm telling you. Oh, she's, 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 um, want to come and trace the African descent and also see how life life here is. And even that December, there are a lot of activities mm -hmm. ongoing. Mm -hmm. So most of them, when they come, they are busy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when you, you are coming to experience the normal Accra life, you need to get somebody who can really take you to where the thing the is happening. Where, where it's happening. You can even go online and search and get the places where the, the night life is okay, mm. and you don't come and blame that boredom. It could be his personal experience, his personal expectations that he couldn't get. Mm. And I, I want to believe it was so weird. Mm. It was so weird that the people who even hosted her, they can't even provide provide for him. Mm. Mm. I see. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think um, this is 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 not a ser um, serious statement, and we shouldn't take it as abuse. Okay. I mean, it's it's irrelevant. Um, and my my reason is simple. I mean, even for hotels, when you visit them or when you uh, patronize any hotel. They they have 
a platform for you to read them mm -hmm. say whatever you mm -hmm. think uh, mm -hmm. your experiences mm -hmm. you can say positive or negative mm -hmm. so we should take bob risky's uh, comment as such i mean but, but, but if the hotel mm -hmm. gives you proper treat yeah and you give you give them bad rating, uh, rating or yeah. bad score yeah. they will be happy of course, but they exactly. still, but still, they can't do anything about it. Exactly. In fact, yeah, some yeah. of them is open, so mm. you can just say it uh, the way you want to say it. Mm. Just that reasonable people will also judge based on the additions or the how the details that you will give. In the case of Bob Risky, the, there were no details, so that one it will go against uh, Shim. If <laughs> if if there's anybody at all who may want to uh, take uh, Bob Risky's advice to travel to Ghana or not. Mm -hmm. So I think it, it's fair because we are in an open um, environment. environment or we are in democratic space and mm -hmm. you, you, we should allow everybody or anybody at all to say whatever they think the thing is. I mean, it could be boring for him mm -hmm. or she, mm -hmm. uh, or but we have others who were also saying positive things. So we have to go with the positive one. And Benna Boy is a typical example. Mm. And then even Whiskey. Yeah, Whiskey. And, and David. David do, yeah. For David, I've even seen him with a, a, a customized car mm -hmm. in, in Ghana. Ghana. Yes, Ghana number plate, Ghana plate customized. Okay. Mm. So he's so comfortable coming to Ghana that he has even customized a car mm. that he will use to do his rounds in Ghana. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. So we, 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 we should just let all of them speak. But, and now the point is, uh, Bob Risky and Davido, be, like between two of them, whom should we listen to or the people will listen to? Bob Risky and Davido. Mm -hmm. Based on their actions and even things that they do. Mm -hmm. I think and based on their personalities. personalities and how credible they are. Mm -hmm. So we should allow Bob Risky to feel free. I think maybe where like my my colleagues uh, uh, have said where he sh shim went to <laughs> <laughs> and it was boring so yeah uh, shim has every right to, <laughs> <laughs> to get angry <laughs> to, to to say whatever she okay. wants to say but i think okay. it will not go far and okay. um, people will not take it that serious because uh she didn't even spend like a, a even a week here or let's say she it was too short for her to even conclude in that direction without giving details okay. i was expecting her to say that oh i went to to so and so place it was boring mm -hmm. because i didn't get it no details so mm -hmm. uh, no reasonable person would take shim serious mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. should just leave it as such okay i see all right so this is how my people judge the case. Uh, they think that it will not be any uh, impactful on the country and the agenda of Destination Ghana because um, if the video says it, it will even carry weight. Then the video has said that people should come to Ghana. Ghana is a comfortable place. Bernard Boy has said Ghana is a second home. And that for Bob Risky to say, it is um, boring, it is less social activities here in Ghana. They think, no, it is not scary, we should ignore. So we leave it there and move on to the very last story. And um, the very last story has been um, trending, I think, over the weekend, uh, when Shatawale was in the news for saying this and that. The fact that I found it, how sometimes we discuss issues about our celebrities, people think it is disturbing. Now, I want to get my people's opinion on this before we wrap up first of all i think i've had my first show already so i won't say much yesterday i released a video when i had done with everything and i landed in my house i decided to speak to my people and i did a video has been accepted i've seen various comments those who agree with me and some who don't agree with me as expected of course if you are putting out such a uh, position out you are sure going to meet some of these people those who agree with you and those who don't agree with you. And that's fine. I take it in good faith. But I've been seeing commentaries here and there. I've been seeing people who seem not to be happy with Shatawale, the fact that he is now kind of looking for peace. They don't seem why Shatawale should say he didn't want to go to Nigeria for any promotion, but now is telling us he wants to go do 
mediator and other factors there's one video that we cannot play to you but i want to believe if you have been following the ghana story you might have seen it elsewhere where a lady who was in the studios of hits fm was mad at Shatawale for now saying he wants to go to nigeria and the attacks here and there in another video she even, she even described Shatawale as someone who is now a beggar because according to her Shata is now trying to do um, Ahoshishe, aka um, trying to gum like some Nigerians. That's how they, they he wants to gum himself to Bernard Boy just to make sure that he gets the recognition he's looking for and that he can go to Nigeria. There are other Nigerians who are also saying that no, Shata should come forward to actually apologize, according to them. He should come forward to apologize to one, to the whole of Nigeria, and to apologize to Bernard Boy before he makes entry into Nigeria. How do we solve this? Some of the things the lady said is that Shatawale is one of the most confused artists that has ever graced this industry. He says things today and the next minute he changes. He's so inconsistent. Who is a person in their right frame of mind will say that they don't need the Nigerian market. It's only a stupid artist who does not know his whole existence in this industry who will say that he does not need the Nigerian market. And in another video, she was saying something hard like that. I want us to watch this briefly. I'm back. I get the views of my people and we step out of here. Samini, Shatawali, any Adenyan, Miss Aizi, Woman Bassa, Miss Aizi, by Sotra Trenya, Samini, Shatawali, any Adenyan, Miss Aizi, Woman Bassa, and Miss Aizi. Now, Miss Aizi to me, quite a proposal. Nay, a chani, a whole video. Eh, Sikani, because woman in Yati. And no, and yet a warrior and a sour you, who quack or warrior, call warisicum. Call warisicum, if you said Mocariano, and one a kitamo. It is one warisicum. No one to me and walk because they say, and who said, and I want to me why. The government into me why. In fact, made me a firm believer of the Bible say, and Nipa government be a friend who are no better than Buanipa. But any pump not in the Buanipa. Debbie, I worry. The right family. <laughs> Right, right family, mu be right, right now him. Who do hustle so? Men ko yon hustle ya kim promise so. Ko brown hua se. Si e kase ka no wa horo. Forget oh. So ya kim promise. Ka ya ko horo. Ya ya suma wa no wa ko oh my boy go and redraw money. Do all that because enche si kani be do no mbo fraho. Now to me they are running with music eh eh career now we one. If you say 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 no. Shatawale has turned into a beggar. A beggar now or for skin and for and sana where do level will be. I don't want that for my girl and my boys. My boys in any the Grammy Award winners, you know, Omo Kamido, a year can promise a uh, one kiddy kiddy and or banu Jackie. Miss Sana Nechampoba Nana Champo, Mwadu Mundaho, no push you banner, won't call Nigeria. Nigeria, the Sanka Papa President imports us you all baboya. Because one of the rain in quantum, she can't go home. Far from she no one. And now we must say, get an idea, Davido. And you see a good move. Power. What say? One in the collaboration. Now Davido, a good move. Say, now need you who go home. Because this can't be to me abuwa. Because yes, sir. Mobile yet to say, dear Samini, a true level will be a hoji mobo. Now see, sir, how do you? How do you be it? And see, eh. Stone boy. Stone boy, I call you BET. And the Kerry Hills will cry a collaboration. Yes, see, Shata. the biggest collaboration you see will chrome her. Yes, see, was Shatawale. Any Beyonce, Beyonce. Beyonce. and so she and to me and few man, but if you send the sicker, it's a couple of bar and a bema and the sicker will be and then the bushier will be. Never was she shell. Never one more. All right, so that was Sally Frimpon man in the studios of Power FM. And um, during one of their shows, Sally was so hard. And the one on Hit FM, once again, in fact, that one, she was very brutal. And unfortunately, because of copyright issues and um, media, a media house like uh, multimedia policies with using a fair content of their content, mm. they are still not clear on that. So we will let it slide, but you can go check it elsewhere. So Shatter Elsewhere also wrote that, Lord God, my friend who was to be, and no more my friend is killing the world. Even though we don't talk, I'm so happy to see him succeed. Shouts to Bernard, you burning it. And he, he added the love emoji. And still, people are chastising him left, right, and center. I see it elsewhere and I laugh. 
before I go on to in Team Do the Solomon SM lawyer, I want to start the discussion. <laughs> I hear today happens to be the birthday of uh, Dr. Anita. And yeah. um, wow, I just got information from MC Barima yeah. who confirmed to me that today is the birthday of Dr. Anita or oh, Kesley Wuberfoss. Doc, we didn't know this, but we still have to celebrate your day. You have been a great support to our entity here at Flex Entertainment, and we appreciate everything you are still doing for us. May God bless you, give you more age on this earth, and may you continue to be uh, prosperous in whatever you are doing, you and your orbit. <laughs> <laughs> so happy birthday to you, Dr. Anita. Yes, um, Chabu, yeah, I'm sure um, you can start this for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha happy birthday to Dr. Anita. Mm. And I'm... I'm <laughs> But um, I'll, I'll organize a weekend brunch birthday party for, for Dr. Anita. In, in, in Ghana. Yes. In, in, in her your boring you country. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in okay, your boring country. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't really know the kind of message uh, Sally, wa Sally. Sally mm. wants to put across. Like, I, I, I'm still not sure what exactly she wants to see uh, uh, in terms of or in the case of shatawali uh, announcing his media tour in nigeria mm -hmm. or even trying to uh, do some um, kind of uh, let's say trying to be in the good books of nigerians if if i should put it that way yeah. and the way sally she's going about it i, I like I find it difficult to get her. Like I want to know the angle that she is coming from, so that I will, I will know the appropriate things to tell her or to say. But she's just all over the place and and again contradicting herself here and there. I mean, uh, in in one breath she she said that um, I, any musician who is not trying to go to Nigeria is stupid or something. Yes. So if Nigeria, uh, if Shatawali announces that now I want to go to Nigeria, why do you have to insult him? Mm -hmm. Why? Like now, so what is the point? Okay, he said it some time ago that uh, I don't need Nigeria for anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, at that point, based on information that he had or whatever, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, maybe. And, and, and today I read something from Professor um, Akunamwebo. Akunamwebo, yeah. And I even want to tell those who might not have that information. Some of us we know, but I think that information should be trumpeted. Yeah. That at the time that we were talking, Shatawali was called, uh, calling for this. this. That was when he was just it, calling for equal share yeah. for both Nigeria and Ghanaian artists. That just as we do for Ghanaians, uh, for Nigerians who come here, when we go there, they should do same. And at that time, he was also said he was also told that Nigerians won't promote. His songs. I said, okay, if you don't pro, if you not promote me, take me. I'll come there. there. And even at that time, I think if you be fair to Shatawale, it was at the time that he was fighting the Twitter thing. Exactly so, what so, I'm talking about. so in his uh, anger mood, if he says something like that, mm. and later he realizes that, oh mm. no, mm. I think I didn't say it right, or mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to go to, I don't want to go in that direction so now i'm changing my mind mm -hmm. you are still insulting him for what like i want to get the angle that she's coming from like uh, shatter shouldn't change his mind or Shat how should shatter do it now like now right now how should he go about it for her to be okay or happy about shatter's uh, uh, decision I still don't get it. you 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 can't get it and 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 i think the you are also telling someone to go and be submissive yes to get something then, that uh, he wants yes and then in another breath you are insulting shatter for being a uh, uh, for scanning to be uh, to be a beggar and so, so now what is it it's full of contradictions, and and uh, and a person like that is saying that Shatter is uh, inconsistent and, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. a whole lot. And mm -hmm. I think it's it's not a fair comment coming from her, and she should think about it again. Mm -hmm. You can criticize Shatter for what he has done in the past. You mm -hmm. can say that the the statement that you made some time ago may be reckless. Don't mm -hmm. don't don't say something like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's like she's not even criticizing her past actions. Mm -hmm. 
she's rather criticizing her recent actions that you are suggesting that people should take. But if Shata is the one taking it now, he's yeah, he's a fool, he's stupid, and not. Oh, come on, she should come again. I I, I don't think this is a, a good way for her to go if she really wants to criticize somebody to take her words because one she's also she's also contradicting herself a lot of a lot of the issue that mm -hmm. she is uh, saying uh, yeah 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 it's a lot of, uh, it, it it is full of contradictions mm -hmm. so she should watch it okay. and say it right let her let us know she, she should let us know her angle so that we can also give her appropriate response to that. If mm -hmm. it's right, why not? We, we will say that, yeah, what you are saying, it's we okay. agree or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. But now, the way she's going about it, I think it's, one, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. Two, it's contradictions. Mm -hmm. Like, it's full of contradictions. So mm -hmm. she should be right, like, she should be upright to, to say it the way that she will she, she, she get proper response in, in that mm -hmm. sense. And... And for you to, Shata, I think Shata is doing the right thing. Let, now let me forget about her and, and say that I think Shata is doing the right thing and he should be focused. Mm. So, so, he, so, so how he, about some people who think that for Shata to forget about all these things, to now speak Nigeria, he should apologize to Nigerians, he should apologize to, or she should apologize to offended Nigerians. Yes, that's clear. He should apologize to offended Nigerians and again apologize to Ghana boy. How about that position? Well, well, when when you think that you have made a mistake or you want to uh, correct some wrongs in, in 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 your in your mind or whatever you have done, you mm -hmm. try to use your own way to do it. Mm -hmm. And I think Shatawale is trying to do same. He is doing it in his own way that he 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 thinks is is right, and that's the right way to go. I mean, first of all, uh, we all saw the visit to uh, the, the, that blogger, yeah, Tunde, uh, Tunde mm -hmm. and then, then meeting uh, P-Square, the, yeah. yes. And I, I said it on, on, on the other show that this is a perfect move, mm -hmm. or it's a positive move. Mm -hmm. It's an indication that he, he wants to uh, go to Nigeria, mm -hmm. or he wants to do more than just... Uh, fighting on Twitter or something. Mm -hmm. And this is his way of doing it. So now P-Square is even advising him. So if you are a P-Square fan, why would you have an issue with Shatawale? Mm -hmm. Because your me, mm -hmm. my the, the person that you love or you like mm -hmm. is now That's vibing with, position. yes, is now vibing with Shatawale. And the same way, if he can get a uh, banner boy mm -hmm. to also now vibe with him, then the, the people, case. yes, yeah. the people who support banner boy will also love him. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you have mm. issues, now you have to drop it. Mm. And I think that's how it should go. And uh, others may still have issues with him, but well, it's fair and square. You may not even like him mm -hmm. based on his dressing or actions or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it, it should be like that. Mm. You, you, you shouldn't go beyond that. Okay. If, if you don't like anybody, it's, it's, it's okay. okay. But when you go beyond just not liking the person and then you insult the person, and then you give other reasons that is even contradictory. It's, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. So me, I, I would advise that Sally should, should, should come again. And this okay. way, I mean, if any reasonable and objective person will see that th this message is not good. I see. Thank you, Chamo. Yes, Kojo, come through. We are wrapping up. Mm. Yeah, Sally has been disrespectful since, you know, um, when you were on Plus FM on your show, there's been several occasions that she has disrespected people in her bid to share her opinion on issues. Mm -hmm. And which is, which is, for me, during those days, it was, when she was on the show, it was very difficult to listen to her when she's giving her submissions. Because she will be so loud, and the, the word, the tonation and the words he used on people, especially musicians. And we can't disrespect musicians like that. You are, you are on a platform telling musicians to go and marry rich women and go and wash Same. their cars. Ghanaian musicians go and wash their cars. They should send them to go and buy food. For what? Because you For think me. other people are doing well than them. 
in your own way. You think Nigerians are getting more money in music than the Kenyans, so they should go and marry people, not you project their talent. They should go and marry into rich homes and be used as slaves. And you will say this on radio as a, a gatekeeper or as a media person to push this thing into the air. Utter disrespect. And I'm even sad listening to this and this thing have but it is her league now. This some of these things thrive in our media space now. So it's perfect. She will get a lot of applause for some of these things. Because mm. that is this is it's her kind of people that is needed in our media space now. Mm. Mm. Well you come and speak like this mm -hmm. and people will hail you, clap for you. We all we, we all condemn Shatawale when he comes after media people. Mm -hmm. But you see this the hypocrisy. Nobody is talking no media guy is talking mm -hmm. about this. Mm -hmm. No media person is telling the lady that she's been disrespectful mm. for the comments she's passing. Okay, an eye for an eye. A tooth for tooth. A tooth for tooth. If that is the case, that when Shatter comes after media people, they also come, then let's let it be open. And let's not hold Shatter accountable for any time he comes against people. What well, we have been here, when Shatter does that, we, we, we condemn him. Mm -hmm. So if that is the case, it's open that, okay, now when he fires, we also fire. Then let's open it. So that the next moment, when we see Shatter also firing, and we know the kind of words he can use against you, then nobody will come now be hypocritical and turn against Shatter. When I watch the one with Doreen Avio, mm. looking how intelligent Doreen Avio is, in, and, and the kind of contrast in paneling, mm. I was like, this lady is not in a comfortable zone. We know people applaud Doreen Avio for her intelligence when it comes to interviewing. Mm -hmm. And looking at the opposite panel and the kind of things, analysis happening. I'm like, has has the lady been brought into that thing or is her choice mm. because of the numbers the brand during a view is no use to yes we have certain shows like that mm. where we fire and we are not that serious but mm. the host the host there and the oh, Charlie, it's, it's sad to tell you that to tell Ghanaians that beyonce and chatawale collaboration nothing came out of it really really and to push this dust into the eyes of the public, that nothing. In fact, other meanings we even derive from mm. her video is that the artists are even dead, and and she mm. meant the top artists. Yeah. Yes, they are, they are dead. That Shatter's time is yeah. now that that is now dead. dead. Oh, really, to mention the lives of uh, Samini and them that uh, when did yes. when did uh, um, this guy, the Nigerian guy. No, the one with the deep voice. Mr. Easy, when did Mr. Easy, Easy come? Mm. And now he's, he's drafting proposal and collecting big money. Bro, madam, you don't know who is behind who. You, know, you don't know how some of our musicians are suffering doing things on their own. Mm. 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 And life is like that. Everybody and his destiny. I, is she telling us, is she telling us that our musicians are that lazy? And they are not working. Mm. That uh, Stone Boy featured Kerry Hilson, and that is all. Stone Boy that is touring out there. The guy working so hard, working for maybe because she took a sabbatical leave. She's 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 lost count of the current trends happening. Yeah. And it's just spewing because she's loud. And yes, that is what we will glorify. You get that attention. But the next man, let's totally descend on her right now. And use certain words, which I know when Shatter comes, he will obey my own. Yeah, but this is the one, sister. Oh, sister, obey my own. Yeah, busy. Obey my own. Yeah, we will go there. Use filthy words. You use filthy words. Oh, you see, filthy words. No, the desewa. You see, hypocritical Ghanaians coming after Shatter. But this one, nobody will talk about it. You have been in the industry for long, yes, but this is not what we expect from from you in times like this now now listeners are discerning you know listeners are discerning 
people listen to analysis. If you think uh, it was back in the days that you can just come out and speak, yes, you for the trends you get, but he, she should understand that people are discerning now. People are listening to analysis. Mm. They can make decisions for themselves. Mm. When artists are wrong, they come after them. Mm -hmm. So when you two you are wrong, people will come after you for whatever things that you are saying. He ha she has disrespected Ghanaian musicians, mm -hmm. which I am expecting the media to condemn. But they wouldn't do it. Nobody. At times, we shouldn't let musicians feel like they are nobodies. Like, we, we owe them, we are, they are our children, our mm -hmm. boys. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are married. Yeah. You know, they are family people. Mm. And they are doing good for themselves yeah even when we compare about good life some of them beat you yeah yeah they are living good life yeah so why do we always want to take by the slightest opportunity disrespect musicians with our utterances what is the what is the problem here shatter says he want to go to nigeria mm -hmm. who said shatter has been banned from nigeria we even have nigerians who speak evil about their own country they are still in Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. And and I, I you, do you think Nigerians are so dumb that they don't understand whatever that was happening within the space, within the entertainment space. They understand what was going on. And even the stakeholders themselves. Some uh, Shata comes out, he even have more following. He has gotten more following yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. And some of the stakeholders engage him. Recently, the America that he went, it wasn't wasn't it the Nigerian uh, mm. organizer? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So Shatter can go to Nigeria, and nothing will happen to him. He can go there, and the fact that he think he said he doesn't need Nigeria, the need comes with a cost. It's not like he will go to Nigeria and he will go there freely. They will give him whatever attention for free. Mm. I like I like this point. The need comes. With it the is business. Yes. It is business. business. So if I tell you I don't need Nigeria, yes, maybe I have other options. But why now if I need, I'm coming to pay. Whatever he's going to do there, it is business. Mm. It is not for free. Mm. And unless maybe Nigeria will tell you whatever money you are bringing in there, it is not there. And what is the issue of he's inconsistent, he's mm. confused, he's here and there. It was a fight. There, it was a contest. contest. Yeah, there's a contest. There's to a that contest one. to that statement. So if you take it off, Chata, who, and they think Chatawale is not is dumb. Most of them, Chata is too smart than you. And that is why he, she, he will always put you into this corner. He just posted a flyer and look at how they are crumbling. <laughs> he will always put you into this corner and he will be there laughing at you that, ah, these guys, I know how to get them. And they will come uh, chanting, crying, insulting me, thinking I am the, I'm the dumbest. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying again, Chata, when Shatta stepped into Nigeria, he will win more than any Ghanaian that has ever stepped foot in, in Nigeria. Because of what that thing that happened. When Shatta is stepped into Ghan Nigeria right now, his wins as an artist will surpass any of our musicians. Yeah, because he hasn't true. been there, but every true. Nigerian knows him. Yeah, that one is true. He's not been into Nigeria before mm. for any promotion or whatever, but... He's been there before, but not for promotion. For promotion, yeah. good. But his name is on their lips. Mm. So it's a matter of doing your things well, yeah. getting the right people who can connect you over there, and they are not dumb. Those people are not dumb. They know when somebody uh, uh, is about the business. They understand yeah. it. Yeah, they know. They know. So if you think you are here with that Ghana mindset, hey, you're quite a bit bono, and I will say, oh, yeah, and I have a can, what done, and I know. All the issues, and even what she was saying, that they should go and beg, beg humble themselves. Exactly. And later he saying, Shatawale rather also begging. Why are you, uh, is a, is a, a, a uh, what? Thank you, Pedro. <laughs> Charlie, some of this uh, we, we, we shouldn't it's encourage. Sad. It's sad. Nana, from, from people like this. Yes, Nana, wrap up for me. Uh, let's close the show. Yeah, he, he, when you were introducing the story, you said that um, if some of the panel or panelists who appear on radio or platforms also, you know, mm -hmm. disrespect artists in the way they analyze issues. And I want to agree that yes, most of us 
the way sometimes we go about issues, we forget that we are also human beings. Mm. We so sometimes we get very very reckless, and that is exactly what uh, Sally did. Sally did. I mean, if you want to even analyze the whole issue, what Shatta said in the past and what he did in his present, and you want to say yes, you even want to confirm that he is inconsistent. You don't have to be reckless like this. And there's a lot of contradictions in what mm-hmm. he, she was saying. You, you, you claim Shatta didn't get anything out of Beyonce. You think it is easy or it is a cheap achievement to be a certified uh, uh, RIA. Mm-hmm. 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 Like, yeah, what he got recently. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what kind of joke is that? And you are sitting on live TV and you are lying. Nobody even corrected her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why, why are you so talking about it? It's been there all I Not even know. from YouTube. Uh, uh, you yeah. process. Yes. They couldn't yeah. even mention that. I mean, you see, we should be detailed oh, as a panel. When you when you when you get some of this opportunity, be detailed and then give people t- talk about what you know. That is the mistake some of us have been doing. Mm. Sometimes we don't know or we don't have an idea or any information on certain topics that are being discussed. But because we've been called to sit down, we just go there and then we'll be expressing emotions and we'll be making reckless comments. Mm. I mean, it's 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 not good. It's very if if Shatawale was to was seen in this video doing what Sally was doing, we would have condemned it and said, "Oh, Shata there, or can or can or attack it, and then they approach, and then they will cry, and then and then 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 then." But you are doing the same thing on radio. You are doing the same thing. The same way Shatawale will address issues, and he will expect that the media should condemn it. You are also doing the same. I mean, if we don't condemn it. That would be hypocritical on our part that mm-hmm. we will sit and watch Sally every day from Hit FM to mm. XYZ, mm. Radio uh, uh, Power FM, mm. and then mm. you'll be talking mm. recklessly mm. like this and be disrespecting the mm. band like Chatawali, all because Chata has changed his mind and is going to Nigeria now. I mean, if you look at Ch- Chata's flyer, for, to me personally, in my opinion, I think that alone is an apology. Yeah. For Chata to to design a Nigerian flag. I mean, you could have designed any flower with just the Nigerian flag small at a corner like that to tell that he is going to Nigeria. But for him to design a whole Nigerian flag with his image in the middle, I mean, that should also tell you, if you have an artistic eye, you also read meaning into that. Mm. But you, it, is, it is enough respect yes, already. it is enough to the respect to the country. So the people, even Nigerians who are even pissed or Angry at Shatawale for saying they should fuck up, you don't need them and all of Some of them will even see the fly, the fly and they will come down. Mm-hmm. They will see the, the snap uh, chat uh, mm-hmm. post he did about mm-hmm. Benna Boy and they will start to. Re- you see, the mistake uh, Sally and some Ghanaians are doing is that it is not everyone that has that mentality of disagreeing with somebody and having bitterness for them forever. Mm-hmm. I've said on this platform that. In this country, if there's anybody that can beef you or disagree with you and still the next day go and sleep Life and goes open on. Yeah. his arms to you, mm-hmm. that come. Let's reason together as mm-hmm. brothers. Let's mm-hmm. do the business. Mm-hmm. It is the business. Mm-hmm. Let's do what we bring up in the Shatawali. Mm-hmm. A lot of our musicians are so emotional to the extent that even come more headline, they will not read the entire story. Come more headline, they don't want to see what? your face again. Forever. They don't want to see your face. Yeah, they, are, they are done with you forever. Yes. <laughs> Somebody did it to me, an actress. Yeah. Come out front with that one and you put a mature story. Not because you know me and you think that the, the editor who did the front page is my boss. So once he has done the he has done the story, it is me that was giving the person the mm-hmm. details. So because of the up to date, the person that doesn't want to mean. see me, it is done. On the way and that is how emotional some Ghanaians think and I, I mean, I, I because of my. But what is their point? To, like I'm to, trying to, to figure issues. out what the, the whole really point is simple. They just want to confirm that Shatawale is inconsistent because yesterday he said that he doesn't need Nigeria. Today he said he wants Nigeria. So, so it's bad. So it's yes. so, that's, that's, so, that's so him trying to go to Nigeria is a bad idea. Yes, that's the whole thing. Whether it is good or it is bad, they don't they don't want to. They don't really care. They just want to establish the fact that. Oh, Shatawale is inconsistent. I mean, that still doesn't give you any room to disrespect him. Because, yes, today I can, like me, I, first when I was 
a, like a typical bad boy. There were some things that I was doing, and I even encouraged some of my friends to do, to it. do it. Today, when I meet them, I tell them, Charlie, this thing, uh, it yeah. will help you. Make me yeah. make me pass it. Yeah. It doesn't mean I'm stupid. Mm, mm, mm. And will be and it, that. growth. Yes. Once you are growing, you you, you just get mind. Uh, you change your mind mm, on a yeah, lot of yeah, things. Yeah. yeah, of course. So if today there's that need to go to Nigeria okay. and do promo, I mean there's no point in even trying to. I think some of them are trying to incite Nigerians against him, and that is so bad. It tells. It confirms what Nigerians that. My perception that Nigerians have about us, that's what Ghanaians say. It is just beef, beef, fight, 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 fight. Because if you want Stratawale to go to Nigeria and then Nigerians will rise against him, then that is exactly what you are doing. So people should understand that the way you react to issues and mm. still be bitter mm. at heart for mm. whoever you are reacting issues on, maybe Stratawale is not like that. He mm. will still fight. He can fight Benabo, he can fight Whiskey, he can fight the video. But at the end of the day, maybe he has that mindset and the heart. To still accommodate them and still work to them for whatever business that they want to do. And I, I want to encourage that that should be the spirit and the mindset. Every individual, not even musicians alone, every individual should get it. Because I've been saying, if you all have that heart, our environment will grow. We, we, mm -hmm. we can disagree, we can be very aggressive and you know disagree, raise our voice at each other, do what, what, what. But at the end of the day, when we sleep, we should not sleep with that bitterness. Mm. We should be able to reason and know that, oh, Charlie, what I said was wrong. Yeah. Okay, what I was saying yesterday was wrong. But today I want to make a change. And then move forward together like that. But if you want to make it look like, because I have come at somebody, I can't even go get close. And then the moment you get close, if they don't know, that's I mean. I've been saying one of the things that I did not do growing up, that I have regretted in my life, it's not doing our session. I don't know how to call it. In yeah, yeah, I think you've been saying it. Yes. I should have. The opportunities that I had, that I was just staying mm, back. Mm, I, I, I always feel like people mm, say, mm, Nana, yeah, I want to show. Mm, I want to share is very, very it. important. You've been it, wow. Yes, it is very, very important. Because sometimes if you don't do it, the people doesn't even know what you want. Yeah. You want to stay back. Mm. What do you, how are you, how are, is the person going to sleep and say, that, okay, let me do this thing for a, for, for whoever. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it is very very important. There's that don't abuse whatever relationship you have yeah, with people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you are being responsible and then get close to people. It is very important to mm -hmm. enter into people's mm -hmm. territories, mm -hmm. to get close to people, mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. Do it right. It might work for you. Mm -hmm. You think even the Mister Isa you are using that is on your own shanka and then call on on only the best for our mom baby and also a Ghana Premier League. What are you talking about? It is a sad issue, but we can only end it on this note here on Samiflex TV. I want to say thanks. Um, yesterday, when I mentioned that uh, my wife gave birth to a new baby girl, I saw so many people congratulating me. Uh, some of my friends from Nigeria congratulating me. Somebody even said that, okay, Samiflex, <laughs> because you've announced that you've given birth, you post the auto auto. <laughs> They will put the water to the letter. I'm sure maybe a time will come that a baby will be no more. Then they'll come and give me the water. People are just funny. Guys, thank you so much for your congratulatory messages. I've seen them all and I appreciate them so much. And um, I pray that we will all get what we're looking for one way or the other. Thanks so much to Kojokin. And Kojokin would also want to send greetings to his boss, that is Nash Dean. Um, of um, Greenville Records. Thanks, Nash, for everything. Greenville. And also to uh, Tim Dodo Solomon, Nana Reagan, to the people behind the scenes. Um, um, Digital Rasta is currency on camera. Richie Flex is the editor director of the show. Ivano Fowell, RPG producer, as well as Gideon Neil Lamtesin, who is our creative director. Once again, to Dr. Anita, happy birthday okay. to yeah, you. Yeah, happy birthday. And um, feel free to drop your opinion. This is an open platform, like we say. Let's share it and let's do some more. My name is Sammy Flex. Subscribe to us if you've not done that. And let's meet tomorrow for some more content on Showbiz here on Sammy Flex TV. We're out.